Hey everybody, so in the previous section we you know installed uh, Ruby on Rails uh, and we got all set up. So in this section here we're going to install Yarn. Yarn is the JavaScript package manager and we really need to install this right now, especially if we're working now with, um, obviously we're working with uh, Rails 6 and up and Ruby 2.7.1 and up. So uh, we need to just uh, install it right now. So. Uh, we need to just get, um, you know, right down and install it with Homebrew. Uh, and so this here is the page on classic yarn, uh, dot, uh, yarn package dot com. And uh, just note the URL. Uh, <clears throat> this is for the Mac. So, of course, I'm going to have to make another tutorial for the, um, on the description below. Uh, I'm going to put another link for PC. All right. Uh, but for now, uh, we are on a Mac OS. Um, and you can select different, um, you know, for Windows, you know, um, different uh, machines and you could uh, uh, pretty much uh, get all the details on how to do it and there's a lot of information obviously we're gonna run this command brew install yarn so I'm just gonna copy this command right here and uh, later we're gonna check the version it's got a lot of other information so in the future if you ever run into any problems um, and you know you have some error with yarn or something like this while you're you know developing with rails um, you will know what to do, where to go in order to get a lot of information that may you, that you may find useful or if you need to upgrade. Uh, obviously here, we're going to use this command to check our version later, brew update yarn in case you need to update yarn. So, um, you know, so obviously, first of all, we're going to check if we have yarn installed because you may have yarn installed. So I'm going to do a clear here. This is just all the stuff from the previous uh, section. So I'm going to just clear it and um, I'm going to type in yarn uh, dash dash uh, is it yarn dash dash version. Yeah, yarn dash. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go yarn dash dash version and obviously command not found. So that's obviously so if you have yarn, it's going to show you the version. It will say, hey, you got, uh, you know, version, you know, da, da, da. And you are going to just come here and you're going to see which is the latest stable version. And it says 1.22.4. So you would then obviously not do anything. But if you need to upgrade it and it's an old version, you're going to do brew upgrade yarn. That's if you have brew installed. And obviously you do. So over here, uh, I'm going to just run this command, uh, brew install yarn. So that's all you need to do. Um, and then once you do that, it's going to um, install yarn and then we'll, we'll check the version. All right. So while that's happening, I'm going to pause the video so I don't consume much uh, time. Okay, so we're back here and everything is being installed. As you can see, it's not complete yet, but I just thought maybe I should just, uh, you know, unpause the video just so you could see um, that this is pretty much what's happening with my screen as well. Uh, I may have to fast forward uh, this part, but you know, you could see all these packages are installed. So, So we got some uh, keg only, which means it was similar to user local because macOS provides the bigger. Okay, if you need to have echo this path here at the on the bash profile, if you need to have uh, for compilers to find, you may need to set. Okay and export package config path into the package config. Bash completion has been installed. User local at bash completion. Okay, so now we're gonna do a dash dash, uh, no, no, a yarn dash dash version. Let's see what happens, so, so 1.2, 1.22.4, and just take note of all this here. Um, so, okay, good. All right, so uh, pretty much uh, we've got 1.22.4. Um, so other than that, uh, we're pretty good to go with Yarn now. Um, and we probably, uh, 
let's see. Okay, so we're done with yarn. All right, so I'm gonna just close this and uh, I'm gonna just end this video here and we're gonna move on to uh, the next section, which is, um, you know, in installing Postgres and the Postgres uh, app. And perhaps we can, we're gonna use like Postico or um, PG Admin to be able to view our database uh, with a beautiful UI. All right, that's all, uh, and see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks, see you.